If you are new to my channel, then welcome. Thank you for tuning in. I just started making video posts to my channel a couple of weeks ago, so this is relatively new to me, and I'm excited to see how this journey unfolds. This channel is going to be a bit eclectic in category, mostly of a metaphysical nature. I plan on uploading more informational videos on crystals and gemstones, as well as more informational videos on mythologies of spiritual beings recognized in various cultures around the world in my daily deity videos. I've been uploading both thus far and I've really enjoyed doing that. Today I will be doing the tarot forecast for the astrological signs for the month ahead of September. We are under a very active sky this month. The first day of September, right off the bat, we have an annular new moon solar eclipse smack dab in the middle of the constellation of Leo at 15 degrees, 15 minutes. And that's using the sidereal and Vedic astrology systems. If you follow the Western tropical astrology system, the solar eclipse will be happening at nine degrees, 21 minutes Virgo. And then later on this month, on September 16th, we have the Harvest Moon, which is the full moon lunar eclipse at the very beginning of the constellation of Pisces at 0 degrees 14 minutes. Again, that's using the sidereal and Vedic astrology systems. Using the tropical western system, it will occur at 24 degrees 19 minutes in Pisces. So either way, both systems really recognize this lunar eclipse as being in Pisces. So it will be a very powerful eclipse indeed. Eclipses can be summed up as bringing radical and sudden changes in our lives that can be judged as good or bad by each person. I don't want to place good or bad values on change because to me, like the seasons, everything must come to an end so that the new can come in. I see eclipses as really shaking things up where there was stagnation and giving us a new start where there were dead ends. Life is a never-ending cycle comprised of big and small changes. Some people like it, some people don't. Uh, that's really up for each person to decide whether to welcome what is to come or not. Eclipses generally bring things to the surface that were once hidden, which is why the change can be felt as though the events are occurring suddenly. Oftentimes, though, these energies were already simmering below the surface to be released during this time. This is intended to be a video focused on tarot, so I won't be going into more detail about the astrology because this is not an astrology reading video. I will, however, be interpreting the energy of how the solar and lunar eclipses are affecting each sign from the tarot cards that I see in each reading, so I wanted to share a brief preface of that information with you beforehand. I'm really interested to see what the eclipses will be bringing us in the month of September. So I have... Uh, picked a couple of cards here to represent the uh, solar and lunar energies of the solar eclipse and lunar eclipse, the sun being the sun in the sky and representing the solar eclipse. It represents a lot of other things, but for this purpose, I'm just having it sort of show the solar energy of the sun being eclipsed. And then we have the moon, which is represented by the moon in the sky. It's the other luminary um, that is representing the lunar eclipse. So really also a quick interjection. If the video you were watching does not somehow resonate with you on a personal level, keep in mind these readings are very general. There are only 12 signs and seven and a half billion people in the world. You might consider also watching your moon sun, rising sign, or whatever energy you feel best represents you. Or if you are so inclined, consider consulting a professional for a personalized reading. So with that being said, I am very excited to see how these energies play out for the 12 signs for this eclipse month of September. Let's get started with your reading. Hi Aries, this is your tarot forecast reading for the month of September. So Aries, I'm going to be uh, focusing on the sign of Aries, the constellation of Aries. And I'm going to be focusing on the ram as the symbol in my mind's eye. And I'm also going to be focusing on Mars, which is your ruling planet. And bringing in these energies for your reading. 
going to be pulling full four cards for the month of September. So the first week will be the solar eclipse, and the second week will be the second week of September. Third week will be the lunar eclipse, and the fourth week will be the fourth week of September. Okay, so I'm just going to keep shuffling until I feel like the energy is completed. Aries, interesting reading. So the first week I do see the solar eclipse. Okay, so we do have the solar eclipse, which is really intense energy under a Mercury retrograde. And this is also um, sort of miscommunications card. Okay, so um, it could be some uncomfortable news coming in, or you might be hearing something from someone that makes you feel uncomfortable in some way. And um, another circumstance that I'm seeing is like, okay, missed calls, missed emails, um, just miscommunication in general. Um, and uh, if you are misunderstanding someone or you feel like you might understand what someone is saying, just make sure to double check and be like, is that really what you meant? Did you mean this? Because that's what I thought you meant. So just um, keeping the lines of communication clear and open. There is a lot of space back here. So it's like all this energy is coming in. Um, this is like text messages, um, emails, things like that. Um, <laughs> sending the email to the wrong person sort of thing. That's sort of the energy that I'm getting. So things like that that were sort of unexpected. Just be extra careful with your communication. And uh, so I'm seeing for you for the first week. You have a lot of blue in your reading. Lots and lots of blue, which represents communication, truth, and clarity. And um, yeah, it's, it's blue skies. It's uh, open openness. The second week is um, your Significator card here. It's the King of Wands, which is Cardinal Fire, okay, which is the card of Aries. So Aries, it's really all about you the second week. And um, you might be uh, really excited or fired up about something in um, a social setting or working with other people in a business matter. It's really hard to tell without a lot of other cards around it. But I do see this, um, you really being in your power the second week of September. So I do feel like this, this feels good to me where you're feeling authentic, you're feeling real, and you're you're in your natural element so um i do see you just being you and being free to be you and um really not holding any energy back you're looking forward towards the future and you might be actually feeling pretty ex inspired about something i also get that there's a lot of wands energy here so the information that's coming into you you could be actually receiving some sort of information that's important and misconstrue it or misunderstand it in some way okay i also see you sending out information that could be misinterpreted in some way so be very careful on how you communicate um this this month the first two weeks i see that the lunar eclipse is okay Something not really working out the way that you had hoped or planned, and it could actually have to do with this energy of communication here. It's kind of like, wow, you put in a lot of energy and um, effort into something. You may have invested in something. It didn't really work out the way that you had hoped or wanted to, and you're kind of wondering, hey, should I throw in the towel? Uh, this lunar eclipse is going to bring something into light where there was something hidden. Okay, this is also a card of health, so it could have something to do with your health issue um where you're just like oh I, I i see this now or there's some sort of truth or information that's coming to you about your health that you were not wanting to see uh for some reason you're kind of uh were ignoring but you kind of had a feeling like it would be there so anyway uh that's what i'm getting uh there could be some sort of health real issue coming to the surface i don't see it being horrible i see it just being like something that you can take care of um it is an earthy energy it also has to do with money and finances and things like that so um advise or invest wisely that's what i'm getting okay fourth week Again, more energies, more wands energy. So I see you trying to sort of backpedal and sort of um, try to uh, 
um, make things up in your communications and I don't see it being worth it because it's like more more energy than it's worth okay so I see you sticking in your own integrity here you're in your own power okay um, whatever you invested in didn't really work out the way you wanted to you don't need to keep pushing forward okay it's saying like okay some things are worth giving up okay and it's not saying to give up on a dream but like smaller goals that are just unobtainable right now where you could focus on things that are more obtainable I see that um, being sort of the energy of this so focus on things that you can control and things that are, are within your control because some things are just with out of out of your control other people you know have free will or what have you so okay so the final outcome here is really needing to make a decision okay this is about oh you have made a decision okay so you've made a decision to um see things clearly you're actually taking a side you're very you're actually pretty opinionated about whatever communication you had with someone you're I think you're like sticking to your guns and you're like nope this is the way it is um if you really uh wanted to you could sort of go inside and um see your um, contribution to this but I don't feel like you're really wanting to see it you're like nope I'm in the right I I did not make this mistake and um, I see you kind of sticking to your guns and you making that decision and being a little bit rigid maybe about that belief or that idea okay um, and you know I do feel like this has to do with taking sides um, of some sort be, taking a firm stance um, you're making a decision to quit something in some way and I, I feel like that is um, what what you need here the final outcome is the Knight of Cups and I see you kind of moving forward with a dream okay so what I'm getting here is said don't don't quit your dreams um, I do see you being able to move forward with the dream even though there was something that you had to sort of let go of um, this is like could be like a side project or something that was taking up your time so that you couldn't move forward it's like okay this is taking too much time it's too much of a burden other people are putting too much on me and I'm just gonna go ahead and move forward with my dreams okay the knight of cups is like you're being very idealistic about the future and I feel like this is good this gives you hope Okay, you're moving forward towards a goal or something that's going to make you very happy. And I feel like this is all just like moving in steps towards that. I don't feel like there's any solid resolution yet in this in the month of September. It's like kind of a transit transiting energy. Okay, so let's see what the angels want to say. I'm pulling a card from the angels messages tarot or um excuse me oracle deck that vanessa lambert has put out and i kind of like to pull a oracle message to kind of cap your reading here give you a nice message of inspiration from the angels here we go okay your angels will rejoice with you when you have good news, but will also protect, love, and guide you, guide you when you have bad news. Okay, so that's kind of what I was hinting at here with this news coming in. It could be miscommunication. I didn't really want to come out and scare you and say that it's bad news, but you could be getting something that just doesn't vibe with you very well or something um, that you could be concerned about or annoyed with in some way. It might even be a health-related issue concerning this news, okay? But um, just know that you are taking the right road. You're making a decision um, to cut something out or change something in some way that works for you so that you can move forward in a, in a better direction and find something that makes you happier. And... Um, yeah, so this is all about communication, news coming in, good news, bad news. I feel like you, this is going to be a mixed month of good and bad news um, coming in, communication coming in, um, text messages, emails, um, correspondences, things like that. So you could be receiving a letter. Um, 
coming in as well. I do see like a scroll here, like a letter, something written here. Um, this feels kind of formal, like it's like a like related to work or school or some sort of institution here. It could even be a doctor's office that you're sort of reviewing here. Make sure to carefully review anything. Also, don't sign on the dotted line um, during a Mercury retrograde season. And um, I think everything's going to end up just fine because you have the, the Knight of Cups. So you're moving towards better health if there is some sort of um, issue that comes up that you can kind of take care of. Um, so you think it could even be like insurance paperwork or something that's kind of boring like that. And you're just like, oh, this is annoying. I don't want to have to fill out this paperwork, whatever. So anyway, good choices. You're making good choices this month and um, you're moving forward. So that's what I see for you for the month of September, Aries. If you have any questions or comments about your reading, go ahead and leave them in the comment box below and I will make sure to address them. So I wish you the best month of September.